So similar to finding the length of an arc around a circle, we can also find the area of any sector of a circle as long as we know some key pieces of information. We need to be able to figure out the entire area of the circle, compare that to the sector we care about, and we also need to know the central angle. So just so a proportional relationship exists as it did when we did arc length. So just to be clear on what a sector actually is, a sector of a circle is formed by two radii meeting at a central angle, and whatever that leftover piece is, it looks like a wedge or a piece of pizza, that's considered to be a sector. So for this first example, I want to know the area of this shaded sector. So I'd put A for area, because that's what I'm trying to find. Because I know that the radius is 20, I can compare this piece to the entire area of the circle. So that's your pi r squared. So this would be pi times 20 squared. And I'm comparing that just like I did at arc length with how much of the circle is being taken up in terms of degrees. So it's 110 degrees out of 360. Same proportion relationship, same idea with cross multiplication. I just multiplied everything in my calculator. So I did pi times 20 squared times 110, and I got this, this number here. And then I did 360 times a. And the final step is I just divided by 360 and rounded to the nearest square foot. That's your area. Just like with arc length, if I ask you to keep it in terms of pi or exact, you can put everything in your calculator except just leave the pi out of the mix. So with this example, a little bit more going on in terms of what they're giving you. To start, they're giving you the diameter. So that's great and all, but I really just care about the radius. So now I know the radius is 5. They gave me an inscribed angle. So the PRQ here is 26. Also helpful, but I need to use that to get to my central angle. So because this is 26, across from it, or the arc gets subtends, that measure must be 52 degrees. I doubled that. Therefore, the central angle has the same measure, and that's 52. So I want the area of sector PMQ. So I outlined that, and I shaded that, that wedge in that slice there. So I also put in the key pieces of information. I know that the radii are 5, and the central angle is 52. Now I can go to my formula and compare the area I want to find to the entire area of the circle, so that's your pi r squared, so that's how I got 25 once I squared the 5. Notice it wasn't 10, so don't realize those are often different numbers. I compare that to 52 degrees out of 360. Again, I said in terms of pi, so when I multiplied in my calculator, I multiplied the 52 and the 25 to get 1300, put the pi next to it, multiplied across for the 360a, and then when I divided both sides by 360, I again ignored the pi, and the calculator automatically reduced the fraction for me. I know the units, they happen to be centimeters, so now it's going to be centimeters squared. So if you go to the back of your paper, sorry, giving you ones that don't have pictures, first of all, and that also don't necessarily have the same pieces. So it says you have a sector of a circle, I just did a little rough sketch of a circle. I don't know the angle right now, that's okay. I know the radius is 5, and the area they're giving me is actually 20. So 20 square centimeters is that. I want to know is the central angle of the sector acute or obtuse. So the first thing is I need to find the angle itself. So now the missing piece is the angle. So I can put that as my variable in my proportion. So I said, okay, the missing piece is the angle out of 360 degrees. And then I, in this case, I know the area is 20. The entire circle's area must be 25 pi. And it doesn't talk about in terms of pi, so I'm just going to put this in my calculator, cross multiply. Sometimes I don't put the pi in there. You might want to make that a decimal, though. So in the end, I had 7200. Make sure I divide by this entire quantity, or whatever decimal that equates to. And I got 91.67 degrees. So because it's greater than 90, it's got to be obtuse. So just a different scenario in terms of what you're finding. Um, this one, a little bit more complicated. I don't know if I'm going to stress this as much, but I might as well go through it. In this case, I'm saying the area of the sector is 3 pi square centimeters. So again, I'm giving you the fact that you know that area. The central angle is 120, so 120 out of 360. 
You can reduce that to a third or just leave it alone. That's fine. And then I want the radius. So I left pi r squared, I left the radius alone. That's my variable. Couple cool algebraic tricks you could do. You could cancel the pi's. So that's how I got three over four squared. You could reduce this to one third or you could leave it alone. Either way, you cross multiply. R squared ends up being nine. The square root of that is three. Um, I also wrote that over here if you didn't reduce the 120 out of 360. So let me know if you have any questions.